You guys don't know how happy I am every Friday I come home to this. Oh my god! Oh, that looks so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to check the oil. And yeah, you guys can see that. But I have a package inside. Let's go in there. Okay. Now, here are the packages. Let's see this. Okay. It came in. This is a Tiffin UV filter. It doesn't feel as quality as my old filter. See, this one came in this one, the other one came in this one. Right off the bat, I could tell that this one had way more quality to it. This is the Platinum. This is 30 bucks though. The other one was like a couple bucks. But this is a polarizer which cracked from the last video. You guys should have saw. And yeah, now I have this. So the videos might look different from now on, but I need this. Okay, the filter's now on. It looks looks actually pretty cool. But this one gave it like a blue tint, which is cool. But this one allows more light, so I think I like this one. Okay, got another package. I got a, a battery for my camera. I only have one battery, so I'm very limited on what I can record. And, ooh. This is the Wasabi Power one. It actually came with a case for it. This is what it looks like. Hopefully it works. I'm gonna test it out right now. This battery is fully charged. I don't know if it'll last longer. I could tell by the weight difference. It's pretty different, but I'm um, gonna we'll go check my oil now. I'm gonna check the oil, show you guys. Okay, now I need to pop the hood. Okay, I'm gonna put on my stock front wheels because I want to show you guys how it sits higher than right now. And it's the next day. I'm gonna refill my oil. Probably put in my sleep cylinder. It's over here. It's right here. It's been so long. Yeah, it's just a normal day. I'm gonna start off by taking off my wheels because it might rain soon. This is a 225, 35, 19 tire. It makes me sit pretty low. I don't know if you guys can tell. This is about four fingers off the ground without the lip. And this side would be three fingers. Three fingers, four fingers, okay. I'm gonna jack up the car, take off this wheel and put it on my stock. See how it sits. This is how it sits right now, so. Okay, and now, I don't know how I could show you guys this, but it's about five, five fingers, no, six fingers off the ground. So that's maybe like an inch and a half that was raised up just from the tire. This is what I have in the front. I have a quarter inch spacer. This is just a random ass one. And then this is the, I think 20 millimeters. So I have an SPC camera kit on and VC racing coil levers. And that's just my suspension setup for now. Time to do the oil. I have this cool little funnel and 
it tells me where a court is, so I'm gonna do a court at a time from right there. Okay, I think this is closed, I don't know. Pour the oil in. Nope. Gonna go up to a court. You guys can see. Okay, that's a court. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck in a situation. I can't get this open. Oh no. Wait. Ah. Oh, what do I do? I need something to hold this. I wish one of you guys were here. Yeah, can you hold this? <laughs> I need it. I forgot it. throughout the day but I'm not sure how this video is gonna turn out we'll see but Gene is out just chilling right now time to change the slave I need to get some brake fluid for the uh, what is it slave zone you gotta go to O'Reilly's though just got here and I'm gonna get it right now I think this one should be good 12 ounces yep. Thank you. Thank you very much. After months of having this slave cylinder, I'm finally installing it. Oh my god, it's installed. Okay, we're installing it now. Morning! Don't play around the cars! There's two 10 millimeter, uh, two 12 millimeter bolts. Uh huh. Which uses this one. Though. Yeah. And then over here, this, the, the, the line. First thing you do is um, break loose this first, and then take these two completely off, and then undo the line, uh -huh. put the other line back on, bolt this back up, tighten that line, and then this is where you bleed it from. What you do is once once we get the new one on, we hold this one on. What you're gonna do is step the clutch on all the way, and then I crack this open, and then let it bleed until there's no bubble. Okay, this one's off. And then... That one. No, it's the same wrench. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. So pull it up towards you. Yep. Keep on coming. Maneuver, maneuver it where you can get to that bolt. Yeah, right there. Like that. Now crack it open. This one? Yep. What are you supposed to crack that one loose earlier, remember? Before oh, you take it off. But here, just hold hold this lathe mm -hmm. and just uh, slowly, just crack it. Did it loosen yet? Yeah, it's loose. Okay, now where's the other one? Where's the new one? Oh, right here. Oh, no, it's not loose. Yeah, oh, wait. Okay, so, so it's fine. Just hurry up, take it out, use the wrench if you have to. Make sure those washers, you don't lose those washers. Okay. Okay, where's that one? Make sure those washers, you see the washer at the end? Oh yeah, right here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so just snug it with the, uh, the get the wrench, snug it. Okay, now bolt it back. Oh. No, 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 no. Bolt it back, these two oh, back okay. first. And then once it's on the car, then get the wrench and then tighten it up. So slide that, you see the, the shaft right there in the front side of it? This one? Yeah, and slide it into 
that little notch right there where the fork is yeah right there and then now push it until it lines up the holes lined up with the bolt holes right like that is it lined up yeah and bolt okay Now tighten up the line. Make sure you don't strip it. Go. Okay. Is it tight? Yeah. How tight? I like... Like this. Okay. This is how you're going to bleed it, okay? Yeah. Use this wrench. Mm -hmm. Go to this bolt right here. Yeah. Crack it open. Just until it starts to drip and then tighten it back up until you see the you know, fluid start coming out and then you can tighten it back up <laughs> hey, just not, not, not all the way out just, just wait oh it's coming Tighten it. Do it tighten? Yep. Tighten it. This is the brake? Yeah. This is the, oh, it, the clutch it, master cylinder. It's all gone. Yes. Huh. Okay. So we just fill it up. Yep. Hmm. You're done. Done? Does it, would the clutch feel different? It won't have that notchy feeling anymore. Does it feel different? Oh, you had to pump it, huh? <laughs> We're just pumping up the, the clutch. Wait, so when we like bleeded it, did we bleed all of it or just some? It's just draining from the line. So it's basically you gravity, um, you using gravity to bleed it. Uh huh. Okay. Whoa. It's lower, huh? I feel like it's higher than how it used to be because I, I noticed it got lower and lower. Those are different wheels, yes. Here's the GTR. Here's Ralpho. Follow my okay. YouTube, hashtag, oh, not even hashtag, bruh. It is youtube.com slash Frio Bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, he's gonna fuel my car and my clutch. Let's see how it is. Getting just way higher than before. Who's it feeling better? Okay, I'm gonna scrape so bad right here. Oh, that footwork. Oh shit. Feels smoother, definitely. It's been months, like, saying that I was gonna do that. Could you? Dude, if you're so good! <laughs> Could you? God damn. Wait, what? Could you put up the ISO right now or not? Oh, I love it! Why didn't I do this before? Dude, it feels way smoother.
I need to go around. No! It got stuck! It's got stuck? Oh, I need to... <laughs> it didn't work. Look at it, like... It's still getting stuck. Well... I need to ask my dad again. I don't know. So they're saying if there's liquid, then it's probably the master cylinder's leaking. Here's my windshield wiper. <laughs> okay, so everything's done that I need to do on the car. So I topped off my oil and did the clutch. So the clutch feels really smooth, like way smoother than before. It's not notchy or anything. It feels good, but whenever I get hard on it, <laughs> get hard. Yeah, whenever I go hard on it, it's just, it gets sticky, I guess. It gets stuck and I have to pull it up with my feet. So, we bled the system, but not when the car was level. So, we might have to bleed it again. I'm not sure. It could be the clutch. The master cylinder is not out because it's not leaking, supposedly. You would see it from where your clutch pedal is if it was leaking. And yeah, I, I learned a lot from my dad and his friends. I don't really know much. I want you guys to learn that. I want you guys to know that because I am just learning just like you guys. And I'm not really experienced. My dad's a mechanic or used to be. And his friends aren't. So yeah, the clutch is still doing what it's doing. And smooth though. Because if I let go of the wheel, I'd start being right. But I'm getting gas now. Okay. So let's see if it does this thing again. $20. I fill up like 10 to $20 each time. I don't go more than that. The, it didn't uh, do that thing like it did last time where it kept on shutting it off. But I think it's good. $20 got me. Oh, it barely got me. So, <laughs> are you kidding me? That's probably, it gave me like a half a tank because it was already up a little. Just got done editing this video. It turned out pretty good. It's very long. If you guys stayed to the end of this video, thank you. I worked very hard on it. It's 1.30 right now. And I need to sleep. But, but, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like videos like this. Just, this was, I guess, Thursdays with Tyler. It's just, it's random, but it's when I have footage that doesn't really have a direction if that makes sense it's just random stuff and I try to make a story through my editing and I don't know I'm just trying to get better at it but yeah guys thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video